Welcome to day two of the third Asia Pacific Patients Congress, brought to you by the International Alliance of Patients Organizations, the Philippine Alliance of Patients Organizations, and Sing Health Duke NUS Academic Medical Center. I'm Kara Magsanok Alikpala, your host again for today's event. We have another impressive lineup of speakers who will be discussing the recovery of health systems in Asia Pacific. We'll also tackle how we can build back better. This year's theme is recovering together through compassion, insight, and co-creation. In case you're joining us for the first time, allow me to explain our interactive platform. For event support, please visit the information desk in the lobby area. And at the lobby, you'll also find a photo booth on the left side where you can have your selfies taken. And hopefully you can post them on social media and use the hashtag APPC 2021. Near the information area, you can also download today's agenda. If you wish to submit questions to the speakers, you can do so via the Q&A tab inside the auditorium. You can also learn more about interesting work that the patient advocates in the Asia Pacific region are doing through the videos playing in the auditorium during the event breaks. The session recordings and speaker presentations will be available for all of you on the IAPO website and YouTube channel in about a week, so please check that out. And to learn more about our speakers, their full biographies will be on the official Congress website. I am now honored to introduce a good friend, Orjit Bambrung Sakudsawat, board member of IAPO, who will share yesterday's event and today's sessions. Over to you, Orjit. Hi, good morning, everyone. We have a uh, light up another great day today for you. And we have a uh, is health literacy and meaningful patient engagement. The third one is self care, and the fourth is HTA and regulatory affairs. So they are all interesting topics that uh, you should follow today. And after the Congress, when after we close, we will be holding the consensus building workshop, capacity building workshop on patient advocacy for patient safety in Asia Pacific in line with WHO Global Patient Safety Action Plan 2021 and 2030. To 2030. The workshop aims to use the WHO Global Patient Safety uh, Action Plan to derive, translate, and advocate strategy direction to implementation of the plans recommendation within Asia Pacific, specifically on the strategic objectives for patient and family engagement in order to build a consensus among patient advocate leads in Asia Pacific. The workshop is by invitation only and participant are patient safety expert in the Asia Pacific from uh, many, many organizations in the Asia Pacific region. So now uh, over to you, Kara.